so today I wanted to talk about the drug Lamictal and what we use Lamictal for, what are the common side effects from taking Lamictal, what to look at, what is very scary thing about Lamictal that would be causing a medical emergency possibly, what we don't take Lamictal with. So what do we use Lamictal for? We use it for mood disorders and bipolar affective disorder. We use Lamictal for mood disorders and bipolar affective disorder. With any drug that you take, obviously there's going to be side effects, right? So what are some of the common side effects seen with patients taking Lamictal? Lamictal causes drowsiness, dizziness, ataxia. What does that mean? It means impaired coordination. Diplopia. What does that mean? That means double vision, nausea, headache. It also causes hepatotoxicity. So what does that tell you? That tells you that, okay, I should check out for liver functions. Lamictal is being broken down in liver and that's why you want to check liver functions with these patients. What is one of the scary things that Lamictal causes? One of the scary, scary thing, common side effects from Lamictal is Steven Johnson's syndrome. It's very important to know that Steven Johnson syndrome can be caused by Lamictal. Some of the rare side effects of Lamictal can be seen and what are those side effects? Those are leukopenia which is decreased white blood cells and thrombocytopenia which is low platelet count. So you can have leukopenia or thrombocytopenia in with patients taking Lamictal. Another thing to remember is when patients are taking, let's say, Depakote, Depakote and Lamictal, what do you think would happen to the Lamictal level? What is going to happen when patients are taking Lamictal and Depakote together? Depakote may increase your Lamictal level. It's going to double actually the Lamictal level. So what are you concerned with at this point with giving a patient Depakote and having that patient on Lamictal? What is this going to do? It's going to increase the Lamictal level, possibly putting them into a toxic level, right? So this, think of inducers and inhibitors, right? What is it going to cause? Another uh, medication that you want to look out for when used together with Lamictal is carbamazepine. Carbamazepine, what does that do? It increases the metabolism of Lamictal, okay? It increases the metabolism of Lamictal. So when you're giving a patient Lamictal and you have carbamazepine, which is increasing the metabolism, thereby what does it do? It decreases the bioavailability of the medication. So when a patient is on carbamazepine, it's increasing the metabolism because carbamazepine is known as an inducer. So it's going to increase the metabolism of the drug, but in return, it's going to decrease the bioavailability. So it's decreasing the lamictal level that the patient would or should be on. Another thing that you can take, you can also take lithium, atypical antipsychotics, or antidepressants. You can also prescribe Lamictal in combination with lithium. They can take it in combination with atypical antipsychotics and in combination with antidepressant. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Take care now. Bye-bye.